Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWorld.com. So, you've got your Galaxy S3 and you realize there's so many different functions, there are many things you can do with the device, you've seen your friends with it, and you want to find out how best you can capitalize your usage of your Galaxy S3. So, this video is aimed to show you how to take advantage of all the tips and tricks of the device and, you know, basically use your Galaxy S3 to the best advantage. So, first thing I'm going to show you is a couple here with the lock screen. Lock screen the Galaxy S3, you can actually put in your weather, you can actually put in a, a news ticker up here, and um, I'll show you how you guys, you guys can access that. The other thing too is you can access the notification bar, that's something you just naturally do, so um, you can pull that down and access that. So let's jump right in and show you how to set some of these things up. So you go into your menu, settings, um, and we go here to security and we go into lock screen options one of the first things you can see here first of all there are a couple things to turn on i'm just going to zoom in a little closer for you guys so you can take a good look here so you can best thing to turn on um shortcuts you can also turn on uh, your information ticker which is your news ticker there is no customization for it um other than um speed settings and news content type of content you the stock on news you can actually select specific type of content itself um, you can select country and um, auto refresh which I should and there we go say yes go back you also have a quick camera which I'm gonna turn that on I'll show you guys in a second um, so basically when your phone is locked you hold the camera up straight and it should be on there you have your clock you can set up a dual clock if you want. You have weather, and that would take weather from your location. Ripple effect, help text, wake up and lock. It's saying uh, you can actually set up a wake up uh, function here using S voice or different other functions you want. So very simple, easy uh, mode here. So let's try the the camera function. So phone's locked. If we hold it up straight. that should unlock the camera not working well see if we can do that again try that one more time uh, nope wasn't able to do that but you get the general idea on there so that is those are one of the set of settings you can actually uh, um, add to your device using the lock screen options which is on the security uh, in your settings so if we go up and we go to um, let's go to display here we have a couple of options here we have the smart state now smart state allows the camera to basically uh, track your eye movement so that to see if you're looking at your screen if you're looking at your screen it will keep the screen uh, lit if you're not looking it will actually dim it down to save your battery life so you can it's an option to turn on there um, on your device you also do have uh, some other settings here if you go into the so it's a camera display we have battery percentage so you can see right there our battery is just a meter and if we turn that on it actually gives you the exact point percentage what your battery is so it's 77 percent it goes down to 76 so on and so forth so that is something else that you guys can add in there Let's see some other settings we're going to more settings here you do have settings for your wi-fi direct to turn that off your android beam your nfc settings which you can turn on and off on there all right motions now this is uh one where you you have a lot of settings uh to use with the device so you have to direct call when you turn this on now what this allows you to do is again which you've seen in other videos when you are texting a friend um and from your text message instead of you you know hitting menu or hitting the person's name to get the telephone number you can actually just take the phone put it up to your ear and it will call the person directly so you don't have to actually access any uh, any more menus or screens from the person's text message you can actually call directly um, you also have um, smart call it basically allows you to um, uh, catch uh, calls missed calls and messages this is your top to top so basically if you want to go if you're on a website and you're at the bottom if so basically uh, I, I'm at the bottom here I basically tap and it brings me to the top. It doesn't work here, it works actually with web pages. Um, you have tilt to zoom, which you can turn on. You have the pan move, you have pan to browse. So you move around to pan, uh, browse the image. 
you have shake to update which is shake your device uh, you do have um, turn over to mute so a phone call comes in you just basically turn your device over and it mutes it very simple you do have the palm swipe for uh, capture again which we do that way very simple process and um, you have palm touch and mute or pause so <laughs> you're gonna have to do this and it'll mute your device if it's ringing <coughs> excuse me so very simple processes that you can do. Other cool feature that um, you don't necessarily see, uh, it's not really a settings function, it's something you just could naturally do. So in most Android 4.0 devices, you can see when you go into your gallery here, you have no access to your notification bar, it's lost. You have to kind of go out to get it. But with the Galaxy S3, you just have to go to the very top and just swipe down. And, um, sorry. It should access the notification bar. Having some issue here. Hmm. Oh, there it is. So you do have to swipe down from the very top to access your notification bar. I have a menu there that is impeding with that. Let me just try with the photo and see how that looks. So we're going to photo here. Do that again. Flip it sideways. We should be able to access the notification bar. There it is. So it takes me a use to, but you can access the notification bar from, um, you know, photos or basically applications that basically take up the whole full screen. So that's pretty much it for the Galaxy S3 tips and tricks. You've seen our camera tips and tricks if you want uh, details on uh, ways to actually access the uh, uh, best benefits on the camera, definitely check out our tips and tricks on the camera. But that's pretty much what we think you can use for the operating system. You get to use your Galaxy S3 to the full best ability. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have, have any questions, let us know. Also, let Snatch Hash know. He's ready and able to answer all your questions. And um, yeah, thank you very much. And always enjoy entertainment.